What's going on everybody? This is Rain. And Jeno. And this is Sinister RP Reactions. <laughs> What's going on everybody we're back again with another chills video uh, this time we'll be reacting to five scary videos that went very wrong let's see how wrong they went all right guys let's do this thing exploring abandoned places has gone wrong plenty of times is the scary top five video show number five Tattoo Tony Alton goes exploring a hospital in East St. Louis, Illinois that's beyond creepy. The hospital was abandoned sometime in the late 90s and has been standing undisturbed ever since. At 27 minutes and 21 seconds, they discover a door where the ground is damp and covered in sludge. The mysterious substance grows thicker on the other side and you can hear Tony's protective boots slushing around and at least an inch of slimy muck. Only when he reaches the end of the hallway does he realize he's been exploring the hospital's morgue, which has been unrefrigerated for years. I don't want to know what was on that floor, but that's about as wrong as I've ever seen an urban exploration gone. Number 4 A YouTuber named Nerdy Weasel goes exploring an abandoned house in his neighborhood with a ghost meter to see if it's really as haunted as people say. His first piece of paranormal evidence occurs while entering the old building when the ghost meter goes off by itself. Here, how's it? As he and his friend look around, a paranormal feeling fills them both with a fearful uncertainty, followed by this scary moment. Bro, I don't feel safe right now, bro. I feel sh everywhere. Yo. Yo, I'm not tripping. There's somebody right there. I'm not tripping, there was somebody right there, you can even check the camera back. He thinks he's caught a ghost on camera, and even though his camera fails to capture it, I still believe this video because the ghost meter beeps as soon as he starts talking about seeing a creepy figure. Yo, I'm not tripping, there's somebody right there. I'm not tripping, there was somebody right there, you can even check the camera back. And also at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, if you look closely, a ghost orb floats by the doorway where he says the figure is. They get really freaked out and climb back through the window when the ghost makes an object fall from somewhere inside of the haunted house. They run back to the sidewalk and they laugh at the paranormal encounter through a fence, making the mistake of thinking they're safe. We're here at the. Your boy, no, we're here at the Plantation Club Draft House. Just when they thought they'd gotten away, the ghost meter is pounded with paranormal energy and goes off like never before. It's not electronic interference either because the paranormal equipment had been relatively quiet until this scary moment. They try and dodge the ghost by walking fast down the block, but there's no outrunning the paranormal. Finally, it seems to leave them alone until about a block later when Nerdy Weasel feels a mysterious presence wash over them once more. Oh, someone walking behind us. Chill. Chill. First, he says he feels watched by an apparition, and then the ghost meter goes off. If it was the other way around, I'd be skeptical, but this sequence of events seems like they've really offended a spirit that is going to follow them for a long time. It looks like exploring this abandoned house has gone wrong for them in the worst possible way. Number 3 It's midnight when a YouTuber named Porter decides to go exploring some abandoned places near his house in hopes of capturing something scary on video. He and his friends have gone exploring these places in the past, and nothing's wrong before. But exploring abandoned places can always go wrong at a moment's notice, as he and his crew are about to discover. This urban exploration video is never meant to be a paranormal investigation, but soon they come across a tunnel that looks like it could be haunted. 
As they are exploring the tunnel, they come across a barrel that's been eaten away by corrosive chemicals. Large holes mark where a mysterious substance leaked out, and the old yellow caution tape they've caught on camera is a frightening moment to say the least. They should probably get out of there fast because, aside from being creepy and maybe haunted, the tunnel air is almost certainly not safe to breathe, at least not with this barrel around. They instead keep exploring until a cave-in doesn't allow them to go any further. They finally leave because the section they're in could collapse too, each of them passing by the mysterious barrel one more time on the way out. They wander through the scary woods for a while and eventually come across another eerie passageway that Porter decides not to explore because they're still creeped out about being too close to a possibly radioactive barrel or whatever that was. They should have gone back by now, but they've come all the way here to go exploring an abandoned building, and apparently not enough has gone wrong to make them stop. We're going to check out the other building for a little bit. That's it. They approach the building, but something else grabs their attention, a mysterious hole in the ground. No, we've already seen that, like during the day. No, it's... Oh, no, I did not see that. Can you imagine coming across that? Yeah. As they peer inside, all they find is more yellow caution tape and a putrid stench that makes them feel nauseous. They aren't sure what this place is, but it's clear to me that this opening was once covered by a manhole. This is an abandoned sewer pipe that's filled with toxic fumes from bacteria and industrial waste. They aren't feeling too good, but the building is right there, so they decide to take a quick peek. It's beyond creepy inside, and they are inching towards the back when this happens. Let's go. A scary voice whispers at them in the darkness and the urban exploration comes to an end. Later, they try not to get caught making a video at the hospital. You can tell it's real because there's hospital equipment beeping and nurses talking in the background. We had to um, come to the ER for Braden. Um, actually got in the car and recorded for a little bit on the way home. Um, he started to get a lot of pain like near his heart. So. His friend is okay, but they aren't sure if it was from breathing chemicals or a ghost. And this video has gone about as wrong as it gets. Number 2. A ghost hunting channel called American Phantom Hunters have been exploring haunted places for decades. And this paranormal investigation is one of their creepiest videos yet. The Palmer House in Minnesota is a haunted hotel that was rebuilt after a terrifying fire took many lives. Some people never checked out and still roam the hallways as a ghost. Mysterious sightings of paranormal activity are said to terrify any ghost hunters who dare to investigate the haunted hotel. There always seems to be a ghost slamming doors and moving objects, whispering voices in dark hallways, and even a little ghost girl who bounces a ball down the stairs late at night. American Phantom Hunters begin their paranormal investigation by carefully setting up ghost hunting equipment at one of the most haunted places in the whole hotel, the stairs where a little ghost girl likes to push a ball down late at night. Within minutes, their carefully calibrated paranormal equipment is detecting electromagnetic activity from a nearby ghost, perhaps the little girl herself. Can you come back up? 296. Ooh. I got it on film. Can you come to these steps? Can you stand on these stairs? Two pieces of paranormal equipment independently verify the presence of a ghost. The large blue screen displays a black bar that represents movement, in this case a ghost girl running up the steps. Their paranormal investigation yields results as their questions are answered quickly and in time. Can you touch that device again? 40, 30. Something just went by on that meter too. And this digital thermometer detects a drop of 3 degrees from 75 degrees to 72 degrees, paranormal evidence of a chilling effect as a ghost passes by. At this point, the supernatural energy is so prevalent that one of the ghost hunters has their phone messed up and display the wrong year entirely. She is unable to access any of the paranormal evidence on her phone while standing at these stairs. They set up a spirit box to capture any scary ghost EVPs on tape, and that's when the strange knocking noises begin. Can you touch that yellow device on the stairs for me real quick? Thank you. Hello? 
accompanied by the scary whispering voices of a little ghost girl. Whoa, whoa. At times, the EVP sounds like they are coming from the spirit box, but at 6 minutes and 25 seconds, the scary voice whispers may be right into the camera from behind. Hey. Can you come down the stairs? They try to talk to the little ghost girl some more and manage to capture these spooky EVPs on tape. How are you? Do you care if I go upstairs? Wait. Okay. I'll think I'll wait. After gathering enough evidence, they decide to leave the haunted hotel, and so they say their paranormal goodbyes. But as they are leaving, they hear a voice whisper something scary in the darkness. They hear the word castle, but I hear cast down. What do you think this scary voice is whispering? Either way, the fact that they hear the EVP outside of the house is a terrifying sign because it means something could have attached itself to them. So something tells me they aren't exactly safe. Number 1. Two friends are making a jogging video when they come across the bright figure of a scary unknown individual on a bridge who refuses to let them pass. It's 7.30 in the morning and there's absolutely no reason for a clown to be creeping around this trail in the woods, let alone hanging out on a narrow bridge. They call out to him to see what he's doing, and the clown simply marches towards them without saying a word. At 45 seconds, they think they can see an object clutched in his hand, and so they go running the opposite direction. I don't see anything in his hand, but the clown does seem to be making a fist, so maybe he is holding something after all. Either way, I think they definitely made the right decision by taking off. Dude, what? There's no use sticking around to see what this scary person wanted to do to them. This top third uh, last one there was uh, the last one there was pretty damn creepy. Yeah, it was. I mean, you could have staged it, but regardless, the footage is still pretty good. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna drop the uh, the link for this video and let us know what you guys think. Until next time, adios and keep it spooky.